And this is Empowering Women Everywhere. And our guest today is Deb Major. She is the founder and CEO of Xylophone. And she's with us here today to Hi. speak to us about Thank her project. Thank you for project. having me. I really appreciate you bringing me on. Thank you. Good to have you. Thank you. So you want to tell us a little bit about Xylophone? Sure. Xylophone is a nonprofit 501c3. Uh, we started back um, in 2011. My sister and I um, started the, the uh, corporation, and it is a performing and creative arts made for special needs population from the age of infancy all the way to 92. We work with folks, um, music, theater, art, dance, all of it. Great. So you're very creative. Yes, I you, think so. And what what actually inspired you to create this organization? That's a great question. I am a performer by nature. I've been a singer in a band for 40 some years. And when I had children, I was a little bit older. I was 32 when my kids were born. Um, I have twin boys. They're now 26 years old. And they both um, are disabled. So in learning how to raise them, um, at the time I had no family in the area, and I come from a pretty big family. So in order to figure out how to raise my children, we right. used music a lot in, in how to help them develop um, social skills and how to learn to tie their shoes, how to eat, how to be comfortable with themselves. And we, we just made everything a game. So when I learned how all that worked, um, then I got a call from Inspire. Which, okay. is, which is the preschool for children with disabilities. Right. And they asked if I would think about coming in as a music teacher. So I instructed over there for seven years. And then during all that period of time, I was singing in a band and my kids were growing up. And finally, I guess when Gage, my, um, one, of my, one of my sons was graduating from high school, he said, Mom, I really want to go to school for theater. Wow. And Gage has cerebral palsy and autism. And I, I didn't know how to break it to him. I said, I don't know that there's a school that is, is around for right. somebody that has two special and incredible things going on like you. And so I was on the uh, board of directors at Crystal Run Village at the time and asked the, the guy that was running it, Jim Lawler, and I said, how, you know, how can I find a, a place like this for my son? He said, there is no place like that. He said, maybe you should make some place like that. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> and that's how Xylophone became. Hear that strange? Okay. Debbie Major, a musician and single how mother with two sons on the autism spectrum, was seeking out music and theater programs that would provide a creative outlet for them. Disappointed by the lack of programs that would be accommodating to her son's special needs, she decided to take matters into her own hands and Xylophone was born. Xylophone was started in 2011 and classes typically take place in Major's home, located in the quaint town of Montgomery, New York. It, it kind of came to life when Gage had graduated from high school and was looking for a place to act. Um, he loves to sing, he loves to act, and my other son, Jacob, who loves to sing. Word of mouth has fueled Dialphone's popularity throughout the Hudson Valley, and now Major has been working steadily with a talented songwriter named Rayanne Reisinger. Javi is so attuned to people with disabilities. Debbie fully believes in the power of music and wants to use that power to further benefit everyone in the community. I think every county needs a place like Xylophone where, it, where anybody that has a special need can be creative just like everybody else. Wow, so do you do productions? Yes, we actually had our third theater production yesterday over at the Maybrook Learning, um, the Alternative I'm sorry, Learning I missed Center. it. It was awesome. It was called Hats, and, and we had um, eight children in the, in the show, and um, I would say more than not, most of the cast have had autism, has autism, 
and uh, they did a magnificent job. They danced, they sang, they acted. It was fabulous. Oh wow! Did you did you videotape? Oh, of course. Oh, cool. So I get to see anything. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yep. <laughs> well, great. Are it you going to put great. the videotape up on your website? So I'm sure we're going to put see? snippets. You know, we're yeah. going to edit it down, and we're going to put Good. snippets. But if you go to our website, which is xylophone.org. There's a bunch of different videos there for you to see what we do. We work with seniors, we work at day hub programs, and we have a brand new site right in Campbell Hall. So you can see our new site there too. Okay, and what, what do you have to offer at your new site? That's a great question. Um, we are right at Noble Coffee Roasters, right down the road in, uh, on Route 207 okay. in Campbell Hall. And we offer um, different programs for infants, for toddlers, for children, a music and movement program. Uh, we also offer a drum program called TRAP, the Rhythmic Arts Project. That was designed by a gentleman who's a friend of mine in Santa Barbara, and he um, developed it for the special needs community. So it's all about teaching how to speak through the drum. Um, mm -hmm. You can learn math through the drum, color identification, right. socialization, left, right. And the best thing about TRAP is the person that is, is instructing can hand it to somebody else to lead which if you have a, um, a disability, control is a really, you know, is a very hard thing to have in your right. life. So for a person with a disability, if you hand them the drum and say, you're in charge of the group, oh, wow. it's very, yeah. very empowering for that person. And you instruct how that works. Right. So they can start, start and stop the group, or they can make them louder or softer, and it's, it's just an amazing feeling for a person, any person, really, because we all love to have that kind of feeling. So. Um, then we offer music and movement. We offer Zimprov, which is an acting improv um, program, mm -hmm. and that's for any age group as well. Uh, we have karaoke, which is great because they all love coming in and singing on a microphone, and we put lights up, and they can wear silly hats, and, and they come in and sing, and that's an amazing thing as well. Um, we also um, have a program called Sketch and Song which is designed for just art. And so we, we incorporate music into that as well. We'll come up with a, an art project that is matched with a certain uh, music. Okay. And uh, we have a couple of instructors that do that and that's very empowering also because they, they come home with a piece of artwork that they've created. It's all about creating. For me, it's all about designing each program for the group that you're dealing with. Right. So if they have um, a certain age or they have certain issues, we just design the program around what their needs are and what their desires are. Right. Not everybody can draw. Not everybody wants to sing. But I think everybody has something that's creative in them. Right, exactly. So we try to make that an empowering thing. Now my question to you is when someone comes into the program, do you see any change in them as they progress yes. through the program? And if so, what is the change? I think self-confidence is a big thing. Okay. I think, uh, you know, as we've opened up our site just in January, people are starting to call and say, you know, my son or my daughter um, has no program during the day. They aren't in a day have program. They're an adult and they're home with me. Right. And they just want to have some place they can go and be creative. and and do something fun. Right. So for me it's all about having a place to go that you can look forward to. So that in itself gives, gives a lot of hope I think and a lot of incentive to think during the week. Let's see if I could go to Xylophone what would I like to be doing this week. Right. So it gives them the idea of more self-confidence and creativity. Um, Socialization is a big part of it. They, they make new friends. When you have autism or maybe Down syndrome or even mental retardation, you feel very isolated. Uh -huh. And so when you come to our programs, there's a lot of socializing that goes on as well. Right. And if someone has um, someone, in, a loved one, that's involved in a special needs, what number should they call? They can go to our website, which is uh, xylophone.org, Z-Y-L-O-F. O N E, and they can also go to Facebook, which is um, we're all over Facebook. All of our events are on Facebook, okay. so you can reach out to us, message us. Um, we have so many different things going on. We have a, a karaoke night for teens and adults. Um, we have a special infant toddler program going on. Um, we just finished our theater program. We're getting ready to start summer school programs. Um, we do kids karaoke. We try to just mix it up as much as we can. Okay. Very good.
Where do you get some of your funding? So we do get a lot of donations, but we're getting grants as well. Um, we just started with the Community Foundation, and we're a member of the Orange County Chamber of Commerce as well. Okay. So we get a lot of connections with other people and other companies. We're always looking for sponsors for our children, for our building. Right. Uh, so any bit of help that, you know, if, if you do sponsor Xylophone for a month, you get to come into our building and watch our programs. We put all, all of your marketing stuff out in our building. Uh, we have a show that we're on with WTBQ in Warwick and it's called The Nonprofit Notebook and you are a guest on our show okay. for the month. So, so yeah. actually you have a lot of opportunities for local businesses yes. to get their names out. We absolutely do. Sponsorship. Absolutely, yes. Okay, all right, very good. And um, what would you say looking forward? What is your vision? What would you like to see happen? With That's a Xylophone? great, great question, Nan. I think the building I have in my heart and in my mind that's designed already is a spectacular building that is very colorful, uh, very plug and play, extremely interactive. So when a person with a disability might come in, they get to choose what's going to happen. They decide where they're going to go. Do they want to record that day? which um, I forgot to tell you that we've been doing um, lots of recording. We just finished our second uh, CD with, um, with a gal who lives right in here in the ocean. And we also have um, a gentleman, a senior, that we finished a second CD with coming up also. So we do recording also and songwriting. Now do you have a recording studio set up? We, we actually have a portable studio so we can come to, to the person or uh -huh. they can come to our facility. And we also have a friends of ours because I'm in the music industry, so we have a lot of friends that have studios that kind of like collaborate with us. Cool. Uh -huh. Very cool. And do you find that you said that your son was very interested in the theater, and what is he doing now? Gage just was our assistant director for our show, this last one. Okay. He's also in a show that we're doing called Lucky's Penny. It's an interactive show where we bring this to the grade schools in the area. It's about... Um, um, self-worth and bullying and it talks about two 1943 cop pure copper pennies. Gage is the narrator for that show and we have two gentlemen uh, both that have Asperger's that are the stars of the show and uh, they do an amazing amazing job and the children are part of the auction so they get to bid on the pennies and uh. so it's a wonderful fun very interactive show cool. so that's what Gage is doing now he works as the library clerk right here at Inspire Okay. Um, and he works at Xylophone volunteering all the time. Cool. So, do you have other volunteers that we can absolutely do? Involved? We love people that volunteer, and I think it's a really important thing to have children volunteer as well to become mentors. Uh, we have interns coming from the colleges in the area. We have high school students that come in, and we have sometimes the grandmothers that come in that are kind of you know hanging and looking for new things to to step into and. Any age is welcome. We so love it. Right. Okay. And what I know that you s mentioned that you sang in a band. I do. Uh, what What band do you sing? I sing in the John Bates Band. Okay. Um, we're a six-piece band, and I also have my own band called the D Major Project. Okay. Now, if somebody wants to see your band, you can go on my um, my website, okay. DebbieMajor.com, or you can go on the John Bates Band. Dot com right. or the D Major Project. Dot com. Okay. There's so many different ways. <laughs> <laughs> There's all kinds of ways. Different ways. Yeah. You. Yeah. And I'm on Facebook and so is the band. And so you can check me, really check me. And you can go on YouTube. I'm on YouTube as well. Cool. Yeah. And if anybody has an event, I guess they can get in touch with you Definitely. about scheduling your yes. band. I mean, yes. you do weddings. We do weddings and parties, and we're doing an event um, for Inspire coming up for their annual fundraiser. And we do fundraisers. We, um, we're actually, I forgot to mention, we're having a sip and paint um, down at the River Grill um, in June, and you'll be able to find that on our site. Um, we are also, um, we do a, an annual kind of, a, not a battle, battle of the bands, but we have a couple of bands that come in over at Kalai Vineyards, and, and we run a fundraiser in September that's going to be so much fun. So, um, yeah, there's so many different things going on at Xylophone. Yeah. What do you see as your biggest challenge? 
I think it's funding. Okay. Typically, funding, getting enough money to run the programs, to run the facility, to you know, salaries and whatnot. Uh, I think that getting the word out is is critical too. Right. We're we're kind of a grassroots company. Not a lot of people have ever heard of this kind of a, a program. Right. So we're brand new and we're really trying to open up. Um, we've done some work in Dutchess County, in Westchester County, in Sullivan County, and Ulster County, but t tidbits here and there. So we're trying to open up so right. people to know there's a place available. to come. Yeah. There's a place to come. We just really want people to have something to look forward to every week. Now, do you can you work as a mentor yes. group for if another organization wants to put in a similar program? Sure. We'd love to Maybe. help in any way. To me, it's all about the connectivity to the group of special needs. Right. And if, if uh, like I worked with um, a group of, um, of, of adults at the uh, Westchester CP Center, and they have a music therapist there, but I brought drums over there and it was a fun, exciting thing that brings them all together. And it, it's just a different thing. Whenever you can lift up a community of people, why wouldn't you want to do that? Why wouldn't you want to do that? Yep. And if you have, if you're a musician and you have a special talent that you want to share with the special needs community, I would imagine. You could teach guitar, you could teach drums. Right. Um, one of our guys teaches trumpet, okay. um, tuba. Uh, we, want, we want you to learn and feel creative and grow with who you are. If you're a great singer and, and gosh, gosh, I've met so many really incredible singers. You can't even imagine how talented I mean, everybody has a talent, right. whether it's accounting or baseball playing or singing. Or I think we just need to unlock that, right? And have, so give them a place a to desire, do it. So if you have a desire, do it. Yes, exactly. exactly. They deserve it, just like everybody else. They just want what everybody else has, the options to to have a place to go. Yep. I wanted to ask you, have you reached out and are you involved with any other organizations across the U.S. that do similar work? Yes, actually, we uh, we are involved with the Down Syndrome Association, the Autism S Society. Uh, we also are just starting to work with a group called 29 Acres in Dallas, Texas. That's where I'm from, so my family lives there and a few of our board members are, are in Dallas right now. So we're connecting with them. We also work with... Um, um, action play down in New York City and they're a theater group for um, teenagers with autism so we're trying to get out there yes well mm -hmm. you are getting out there I hope so thank you for the uh, so everyone yes be in touch with Deb yes and Give us her a call. phone number is it's 845-476 it's uh, 8257 8257 and her website Z-Y-L-O-F-O-N-E. So it's spelled like it sounds, phonetic. So when you think xylophone, the X doesn't make much sense to the special needs community. That's why I changed it. I wanted to it to be Z. easy for them to pronounce. Yep. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Check so, us out. Thank you so much for coming, Deb. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it, Nan. And check us out on Facebook. Like our page. Yes, definitely. That's very important to like their page, yes. xylophone. Okay, so um, Empowering Women Everywhere is a TV show that's designed with women in mind. And there's so many great women in the community doing so many wonderful things. So and many. Deb is one of them. Thank you. So um, if you are involved in an organization or if you know of any organizations that should be on this show, please give us a call at 845-294-7500 or contact us at empoweringwomeneverywhere.tv. Thanks so much for joining us. I was on the board of directors for a company that offers services for people with disabilities and I asked them if there was a, a place in the area for acting or for music for people with a special need and they said there is not and maybe you should make one. Somebody that has been dealing with a person with cerebral palsy like my son, you have to know what that person needs and you have to follow through because this person's counting on you now. There was no other places to start my acting career, so my mom created this uh, company for people with special needs. 
Micro businesses make a major impact and rarely do they get the credit they deserve. In the lead up to Small Business Week, we've been collecting submissions from micro business owners all over America. Deb's story really struck a chord with us. She took her personal challenges with her twin sons and has really made an impact on her community and we found that very, very inspiring. What we do at Xylophone is we bring musical joy for any person of any age that has a special consideration or need. When I started this company, that was really first and foremost, you know, realizing what is lacking in the community for me as a mom that has children with special needs. Learning how to run a non-for-profit is very, very challenging, but I don't think I would have ever continued if it wasn't for my sister. Our business is growing because the parents believe in what we're doing and we believe in what we're doing. When kids see me, it's kind of like they're, they look up to me as like a mentor. This sprint has millions of micro-business customers all throughout the world. We know how hard they work to keep their businesses going, so we want to do something to recognize that hard work and do something to make their businesses a little bit easier. We will be paying for this space for you for the next year to hold your bike <gasps> class. Oh, thank you! Oh my gosh! In addition to rewarding the business, we wanted to give something to the kids as well. We know how important music is to them. We saw firsthand how much fun they have here. So we wanted to bring them some toys, some instruments, so that they could take a little bit of xylophone home with them. My music means everything to me. Xylophone is a place where people with disabilities can go to experience acting and performing arts and um, they can explore all the different aspects of acting. Because a lot of actors with disabilities don't have any place to act and these people need, need a place to act if they want to succeed and all the other disabled people who, who think that they will have a place to act will take a look at this place and say this this will hold this will hopefully change many lives in people who want to experience performing and acting Getting the applause from the audience and seeing how much people really enjoy watching other actors perform and um, getting to work with such talented people. I can express my feelings and, um, and, and I can improvise from the script, and I've watched many actors on film, and I just love it. Hey, I'm Lenny Galeno. I'm a retired New York City detective. I was with the New York City Police Department for 21 years, retired in 2006, and now I'm proud owner of Gold Shield Investigations. I got the opportunity recently to see Collar. And you know, I'm a real critic when it comes to police movies, cop movies. Well, I gotta say this. In, in watching Collar, I thought it was authentic, it was it hit home. The actor portrayal, TJ, was right on the mark. Uh, you know what I see a lot of times with these police movies the actors always seem to overact the part of a police officer. And, you know, in, in any professional looking at it, you know, maybe even some people, you know, they like the drama of it, but it comes through. And in this particular movie, the way it was portrayed, it was authentic. Uh, the storyline, the, the, the real issues, uh, issues that really are not spoken about. Something could be learned from this. That I talked to you about, and you said, well, no one knows about that. <laughs> <laughs>
that you love and enjoy yeah, amethyst. Amethystum, yeah. <laughs> downtime. Um, so absolutely, absolutely interrupt. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I don't think that Westchester is that far that people couldn't join the Westchester. If you don't like me, you don't have to join. If you decide that you like me, like you. Thank you. <laughs> because you can't really be of service to somebody else if you're not taking care of yourself. Exactly. Thank you so much for the opportunity. You're, you really have done a great job in, in figuring out who we are, so I appreciate you helping me tell our story. in the monologue, that's where you look. Move. It's not going to be something like, oh, I'm getting out of his waist just so I can find my space in the camera.